How to use your up seam. Before you start to use the up seam, ensure all buckles and press studs are secured and check Velcro strips for any signs of damage, wear or tear. If there are any signs of damage, do not use the product and phone customer services for advice. The Upsy is a fabulous addition to therapy and can be used as a motivational tool to complement existing standing and walking programs. The success of the Upsy will come from the motivation of your child to stand, as well as you providing the right amount of adjustment and support to enable your child to weight bear and initiate movement as they are able. It may take some time for you and your child to learn how to use the UPSI and you should not expect your child to move in the UPSI immediately. They may only be able to support themselves for a very short time at the beginning. When you first use the UPSI, try just standing with your child, for example at a table, and let them use their hands to play with toys, clean the tabletop or play with siblings. Your child should be able to bear their own weight even for very short periods. If your child simply hangs, they're not getting the most out of their upsy. Take your child out and try again later. Don't be discouraged if you have to repeat this for a while. It can take a bit of getting used to. If your child is able to bear their own weight and stand in the upsy, you could try a simple weight shifting by using a side-to-side -side gentle swaying motion. When your child is able to bear their own weight, you can encourage them to take steps by lifting one of your feet slightly. If your child is ready, you will be able to feel them taking over the movement. Allow this to happen and step with them as they are able, guiding their feet as required. To get the most out of the Epsi, you should compare this process to learning a dance routine with your child. You may both find this a little strange at first and it may boost your confidence to be close to a wall for additional support. You will also find it helps to walk with your feet wider apart than usual, so that your child's feet are a normal distance apart. This prevents your child's feet scissoring and makes you feel more stable. You should take notice of which foot your child prefers to start with, as well as their natural step length and speed of movement. What direction do they want to move? Look where they are pointing, looking or touching. Using the upsy to do what your child wants to do will keep them motivated. Do not force movement, bigger steps or speed. You could harm your child. By following these steps, you will limit the chance of being caught off guard by not knowing which direction your child wants to go, causing you to lose your balance. By learning the movements and signs from your child, you will less likely be taken by surprise if your child changes direction or suddenly starts or stops. When you first start to use the UPSI, use it for recreation and for activities that any child would enjoy doing. One of the first cognitive abilities children learn is cause and effect. They love manipulating objects to see what they do. Try to involve your family members or friends in activities to encourage family participation. Here are some activities you can let your child do. Remember, this is not a complete list and parents should use their own experience with children or work with their therapists to try different activities adapted to suit each child's needs and abilities. Dancing. Open the cupboard doors and pull out pots and pans. Or you can open the doors for them and just let them explore with their hands. Use your hands over theirs if hand function is impaired. Let your child open and close the fridge door. Walk to the front door and let your child play with the keys in the lock. Play with siblings at eye level. Take posts out of the mailbox. Greet guests at the door. Push a wheeled toy. Throw and catch. Action songs. Go for a walk outside. Start by walking to the end of the garden, to the gate, along the path. Play with the family pet. As your child's stamina builds, you can go for longer walks, to a neighbour's house, along a beach, to a park, perhaps even to the shops. As your child develops and becomes more confident in the UPSI, you can try more advanced activities. Remember to talk to your therapist 
to ensure any progress in activities is suitable for your child. You can also find more information and tips on how to use the APSI in the Frequently Asked Questions.